Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Fire Red. So let's start. I do apologize for the lack of videos of it. Um, the fact that I had a lot of schoolwork and such, and yeah, I was put a lot of stress and frustration, but it was well worth it. Um, we did manage to, well, we as in me, and I guess you guys can be included for um, struggling with me and not seeing the videos and whatnot. So we, I did manage to get a 98 on my calculus test, so that is very, very happy and a 90 on English on my outline so pretty much everything's in good in good place and whatnot so yeah I'm really happy on that side of the story yeah Monday yeah I was really I don't know if you've noticed or not but I was rather annoyed because of the homework and such yeah it's just rough rough but thank you for uh, staying with me and whatnot and by that I mean supporting me those who did and yeah <coughs> so in order to make up for the past like three days that I didn't do the video uh, I'll probably have two of these I have I'll have three episodes one obviously for today one for Saturday and one for Sunday now on Saturday and Sunday I won't be here I'll be at this little um, reunion thing so I will um basically pre-record them so yeah just letting you guys know so you guys don't complain and whatnot but yeah other than that everything's good so yeah let's get to pokemon so our squirtle's about to evolve it should have have evolved on um, during brock's battle usually it, it's supposed to basically i'm pretty sure that's that's usually the time where it evolves whenever i play and whatnot and yeah and Pidgey, same thing with Pidgey. It's almost about to evolve. I'm happy because I haven't even trained. Like, I don't have to do outside training. I could just battle these people. Basically because I'm pretty sure I only have two Pokemons. That's why. Uh, my defense fell. So yeah, it's easier to share that XP. Whenever you have like 20 different Pokemons you're trying to train. Yeah, XP um, moves from all around. Also, in about an hour or so, I'm going to be opening a, um, well, I'm going to be at Walmart searching for that Rayquaza, um, Dragon Vault tin because I plan to buy the other promos instead of, uh, ah, oh, I might die. Yep, Squirtle's down. It's poison in my wrap. Yep, yeah. Good job, Ekans. Alright, well, as I was saying... Um, I'm hunting the Rayquaza uh, Dragon Vault pack because it, it's worth more, like the promo card. And by the promo card, I mean the Rayquaza with the Dragon Vault stamp. Because I plan on buying the other ones, like Haxorus, Larios, Larias, those with the stamp on eBay. Because I don't want to buy the, the whole pack thing just to get that card. Because if you look at it, there's only 20 cards that you need. And therefore, you're going to be spending like around $50 for the whole set, which is a lot of money to me. So I plan on buy the card, the, uh, let me rephrase that. I'm, tr I'm willing, no, ah, all right. <laughs> I'm thinking of buying the card separately, um, the stamp basically, um, on eBay. They're like $2 each. So that's not that much. Well, I don't think it's that much. Hopefully it isn't. And yeah. Other than that, after that, I find that it depends how many cards I'm missing. If I'm missing a lot of cards, like maybe more than half of the set, then I'll probably buy another um, Volt package. But if I'm not, then I'm probably just gonna buy the cards separately. So I don't have to pay that much. But yeah, we'll see. See you guys. Uh, how was your day and whatnot? All right, we're about to switch to the next scene, so hold on. All right, I keep moving the camera. Also, I'm I've ordered like a bunch of stuff from eBay, so we'll be waiting for that. 
I bought this um, card bundle. I bought. Uh, oh, I'll just keep that. I'll keep the rest in a surprise, basically. I've been selling my cards on eBay, so that's basically the reason why I've been purchasing more cards. Because the cards I sell, that money I use to buy more cards. So, yeah, good benefit for me and for you guys. It helps me build my collection and it gives you videos for you to see because I know you guys don't want to see me just buy cards because that's boring. You want to see the curiosity of the packages that it carries, the cards that the package carries, and whatnot. And Metapod. Alright, let's go. Alright, you guys, I want to catch a Mankey, but I'm not sure if I can catch it on Fire Red. Because that Primate, Prime Ape, looks kind of cool. You know, I never raised the Primate in my game. Well, except on Pokemon White. That's because I used, um, my friend has the action replay, so yeah, we used that. And he got me, like, a bunch of infinite stuff. You know what it does. And yeah. The sad thing about this game is that, uh, the, the TMs, you can only use one, so that sucks. Ugh. Alright, um, I'm somewhat sick still. I don't know if you guys can tell. Kinda better though. Alright. Hmm. Once Mr. Blue evolves, we'll switch to Pidgey, because I want Pidgey to evolve also. Alright, basically, hopefully, uh, we're to, probably gonna have to battle someone in the wild. Just so we could get that small XP. Because I don't want to waste, like, 200 XP on, like, something that Mr. Blue needs, like, 30 XP to go to the next level. And, yeah. Uh... Come on, give me 200 or something. Ah, okay, we gotta go battle the people. Some grasp type. Let's see if I can sneak and go to the grasp. Oh, no, I can't. We gotta go. Oh, nah, who cares? I'm not going. Da, 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 da. We're just gonna switch. Alright, so. Um. I forgot. Okay. So, um, the last episode, which is basically, like, about last week, <laughs> um, I know you guys, and by guys, I mean people, uh, you know, whenever I, okay, we're gonna establish this really fast, whenever I mean guys, people, whenever I'm talking about a bunch of people, I'm talking about boys and girls, uh, I don't really mean it that guys as in boys, males, yeah, it's just the way I talk, so yeah, sorry, guys, people. Males and females, you know what I mean. Alright. So basically, one of you guys asked me, uh... What was my favorite Poke- Oh, my gym leader. And I don't really have a favorite gym leader. Like, honestly, um... If I had to choose between which gym leader looks cool... Uh... I would probably go with... Uh... Koga. Cause, you know... Poison looks alright, and I'm not talking about the moves, um, I don't know if Poison is good, you know, I know Toxic is, cause Toxic you can like kill a Blissey, and whatnot, and yeah, but, um, I know which one I hate, I hate Lieutenant Surge, because, uh, it will always piss me off, whenever I will have to find those switches, and it was so annoying, I would spend hours, and, now that I think about it, I don't know if they give you clues or anything, but when I was little, like around 8, you know you don't pay attention to what people say in the game, you just push A, 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 A and try to figure it out, everything. Yeah, that was me, so it was really hard for me to figure it out, what to do, so I literally um, talked to each can looking for the switch. And yeah, it was just really annoying and ir irritating looking for those switches one by one and if you mess up and you don't find if you find one and you screw up on the next one you have to start all all over again so yeah you, you can tell why I, it, it was my worst <laughs> and it was just the third gym so if you yeah i really hated it other than that 
Uh, no, nah, not really well. But that's in here. So, I know she has a Jigglypuff, I don't remember. We're gonna see if we can catch a Mankey. There's a Spearow. I don't want a Spearow. I'm pretty sure Spearow is better than Pidgey, but I just like how Pidgeot looks. Nidoran. I'm pretty sure Needle King is like attack, based on attack. But, nah. I usually pick the Pokemons that look cool, regardless if they're weak or not. Like, Sandshrew, I like how it looks at Sandslash, so I'll probably be catching one of those. Although it might be weak, and its stats may suck. Alright, there's no Mankey, damn it. I'll probably research that later. And, and, and if I ever fight a Mankey, if I ever fight a Mankey, I'll research it on my Pokedex. But yeah. So yeah, guys, leave any other questions that you want to know, uh, Pokemon or not Pokemon related, leave them in the comment section if you would, if you would like. Alright, as long as she doesn't do sing, I'm okay. Yes, good job, Pidgey. Ah, oh, so close. Ah, oh, way to go. Alright, we have the Safari Zone in here too. And I'm gonna have to fish a Jotini, and that's gonna take forever to fish. And whatnot, and yeah, and come on, we go. Alright, cool. So, my party basically that I'm looking at is Blastoise, Pidgeot, uh, Me um, Primeape, if I can find one. I would really like an Alakazam or a Gengar, but you have to trade it for that, so that that's the down part about it. That's what pisses me off a lot, that you have to trade it for that dumb. You have to trade it for it to evolve, it's so annoying. And finding someone to, back in the day, and by that I mean like five years ago, whenever this game was on the, uh, in the Game Boy Advance, well I played it on the Game Boy Advance, on the Game Boy Color and such. Oh, that guy gives you a magic card, doesn't he? Ah, oh, never mind. That's on um, Pokemon Gold and Silver. Oh, I keep getting off topic. Oh, never mind. Yes, I'm on the magic card. Oh, uh, yes, we're gonna name this. Oh, it's a girl, so we're gonna have to name it her. Oh, I'm sorry. Mrs. Uh, we're Dragon Knight. Excuse me. Uh, my Gyarados is blue, so we're gonna name her Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Rage. We're gonna call her Mrs. Rage. Alright, you gotta train this Magikarp now. Thanks. Right. I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, my party. Alright, so obviously Gyarados is now in included. Blastoise, Pidgeot. Oh, I was talking about the games. All right, uh, it used to be annoying because I just love how it does that. It used to be annoying because I didn't have, like you had to find a friend that had the game and not only if they had the game, if they had a USB cable, you know, that thing that you used to trade. Yeah, that was annoying. Oh man, I can't use Pidgey anymore. I have to use Full Turtle because there's rock Pokemons. I forgot that was a move. Mud Sport. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was introduced in Emerald and Fire. I mean, Emerald and Leaf Green. No, Emerald, Ruby, and Sapphire. There we go. Alright, guys. Sorry about that little switch up. So, I'm pretty sure... Oh, you can see my face. That's awesome. If you saw my face... That's awesome. I really don't care if you see my face. But I was unexpected. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, who cares? Not a lot of people see this video anyways. But those who do, you know, you saw my face. You have that glory, I guess. That accomplishment in life. <laughs> Alright, uh... And we're gonna go for that quick attack. Knocked out. 
E making Mr. Oh, here it is. Bullet Seed. It used to be Water Gun, I remember. Is there a different Pokemon in here? I don't know, Zubat. Oh, it's about to be level 6. Astonish. Haha, <laughs> Zubat. Okay, I keep getting misleaded. Alright, my party for like the 100th time. Uh, Pidgeot. Uh, let's see. Paralyze here. Pidgeot. Uh, I'm probably getting Kadabra. Regardless if I can't evolve it to Alakazam. Sadly. Or a Haunter. I would like teach my Haunter Nightmare, Hypnosis, and Dream Eater. And then like Thunder Punch. Or some, something like that. Or Shadow Ball. And then like on the on my crystal you know you you fight red at the end which is like level 70 and plus pokemon whenever he would choose snorlax i would choose um haunter and haunter would be like level t uh 20 or something and since snorlax only knows normal types it doesn't affect it so i would just use hypnosis and then nightmare and nightmare is a strong move it takes one fourth of the of the pokemon's hp when it's asleep and that, that's, oh, that's cool. And that's how I defeated uh, Snorlax. And we we'll gained a ton of XP. Like 5,000 5, XP. Alright. Level 6. This is your first match that you will be switched out. As always. Alright, so Pidgeot, Kadabra, or Haunter. Primeape. I'm really looking for a Primeape. Uh... Pidgeot, Blastoise, Gyarados, Dragonite, and yeah, unless I, oh, Arcanine, Arcanine also, and I'm not sure if I'm missing any other Pokemons, hopefully I'm not, I mean an electric type, but I don't know which one to choose. But yeah. So you guys, I've been talking a lot, you guys... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say anymore. Ghost. <sighs> I'm really excited to go buy that Dragon Vault blister. I'm also going to buy more um, card sleeves because I'm running out. I don't have any more. Sadly. Because I used all of them. Yes, level 7. Eight more levels to go. Oh, and I, I lie. Thirteen. Eight for it to learn tackle. Useless move. Alright, this is going to be our last battle. Let's try to make it in one minute. Before I have to stop recording. Remember you guys, I will be uploading another video tomorrow. And the day after that, which is Sunday. And then one on Monday. So that's four videos making up for, uh, that I couldn't upload before. I remember Clefairy no Sing also. Alright, critical hit. Good for you. Let me hit now. Damn it! Okay, this is definitely not gonna be a one minute match. I'm gonna have to restock this again. Alright. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long to upload on YouTube. This is going over 20 minutes. I'm pretty sure. Hopefully YouTube will let me upload that. It says I can upload anything up to 20 minutes. Up to more than 15 minutes. So yeah. Oh darn it. Hopefully he doesn't die. He can make that. Come on. No. Two times. No, Pidgey, you were so close to evolving. Uh, Alright. We gotta send out Mr. Blue. Way to go. He just had to ruin it. 
Look at the bright side. Magikarp got 102 XP. Alright, guys. This will conclude today's episode, and I'll see you guys later today. Bye.